Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and today I'm going to show you how to propagate English ivy. English ivy is uh, a native to Europe, and that's why it is also called uh, European ivy, common ivy, and of course English ivy. They look best in hanging baskets, as you can see here, but they are used as ground cover too. And also because they have aerial roots, they can climb on the trunk of the tree very easily. They don't like sun that much. So in a way it, under the tree, it really helps. They, because they like partial sun or partial shade or full shade. Actually, they are very invasive plants. So they can, you know, basically take over your um, garden. So you should keep pruning it every now and then. So this is my English ivy plant that I grew from cuttings only. I love, you know, the, the color combination in all these leaves. You know, it's like uh, really interesting. All the leaves have, you know, different uh, variegation. I really love it. So uh, to plant these, first of all, you know, I have taken... Uh, uh, regular potting soil mix in which I added a lot of cocoa peat because for cuttings to grow they need to be uh, in moist soil and cocoa peat keeps the soil moist for a long time so I have mixed a lot of cocoa peat as you can see and there is some perlite and some compost in it and now I'm going to and here is my rooting hormone uh, so, you know, it's easier if you use rooting hormone to for the cuttings to grow. So, you know, this plant uh, has, you know, all these um, uh, branches which are like really, really long. So, I'm just going to start from you know, one branch which is, you know, kind of naked on the top. So, I'm just going to take a cutting from there. So, just take a cutting which is like three, four inches tall and make sure it has, you know, three or four nodes in each cutting so nodes are the places from where the leaves grow and potentially the roots will grow so this is one cutting and because my rooting hormone is almost over i'm just going to dip it in this itself otherwise you shouldn't do that because you will be contaminating your rooting hormone because this is almost over so i can just dip it here and then uh, in this planter i'll just make a hole and put the cutting in there then where is my branch okay so just cut it below the node so this was the node this is the bottom side just make sure you remember that otherwise if you put it upside down it will not work and you can see now it is coated with rooting hormone and going to make a hole and just push it down there another cutting now here it has you know three leaves so I want to remove the bottom two leaves I leave uh, you know the top leaf so that you know it can keep doing photosynthesis uh, for the cutting and again make a hole just plant it here so one thing you have to remember whenever you are planting cuttings, you know, some of the cuttings will die. So you should always plant more cuttings than what you need. So again, I've removed most of the leaves. Just one leaf is left on the top and dip it in the rooting hormone and place it in the container. So here is another cutting. This is really thin one. So I don't know whether it will survive or not. But I'm, I'll try it. In general, any kind of soil is fine. But of course, if you give them better soil, they'll do better. And uh, if you want to improve the foliage or make it bigger, then you can fertilize it in the growth period. That is in spring and summertime. They don't require that much water. You should water it only when the soil is really dry. They don't like wet feet. 
and of course they don't like hot climate either and too much cold is also not good for them the best way is to propagate through cuttings and that's what we are doing here so now if you look at this we have planted quite a few cuttings in it and i'll water it now And I'm going to leave it in a, uh, because uh, outside it's pretty mild temperature these days. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime and 55 at night time. So I'm going to leave it outside in a shaded area uh, and just make sure that, you know, the soil is moist all the time. And uh, in a few weeks, I'll report back. So it's been about two months that we planted these cuttings and they were sitting in the shaded area and the soil was moist and it seems to me now they have started growing. I think almost all of them have started growing. So now I'm going to move it in partial sun area and uh, water it only when the soil is dry. and then maybe in three four weeks i'll dig it up to show you the roots so one more month has passed and i see that all um, the stems that we had planted they have new leaves you know they have growth not a single one has died so i just want to dig up one to show you the roots so let's dig up this one Look at this. It has roots at so many places coming. So now you can just plant it anywhere you want and it will keep growing. And uh, the best place to uh, plant uh, these uh, English ivy uh, is in a hanging basket because then you know it just hangs from the side and it looks so beautiful and as it starts to touch the ground you can again prune it and make more plants from it and uh, it just keeps growing so just remember that um, it grows slowly you know there are other ivies you know which uh, which are like completely green they grow much faster uh, and they can bear uh, the sun much more than these uh, I've seen that if I put this in sun, they start to, uh, the leaves start to scorch. So uh, they prefer, you know, partial sun. Uh, so I, be, I mean, hanging basket is the best place to for it because then the tree gives it um, the shade that it needs. And it looks beautiful uh, hanging down from the basket. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.